Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby edition. Pick your team number one or first one, first hobby edition. We got jumbo editions, more hobby editions in the store, so go check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these lovely people right here for getting into it one way or the other on a Thursday. So if you see that little symbol next to your name, that means you got that in a team random. Otherwise, you bought Team Straight Up. Thank you. Brad has a star next to his name because he got Last Spot Mojo with my Dodgers. Dodger Joe Mojo. There you go. So unfortunately, we're not at the National, ladies and gentlemen, as you may have noticed. Oh, there'll be a recap video at the end of this, by the way. Um, so if you're re-watching this, you can fast forward to the end. But we're bringing a little bit of the National to you here in Hermosa Beach, High atop here Avenue from our new shop in Hermosa Beach, California. Promo details and prize details are on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, so this break should take about a solid hour. So kick back and relax. Next national, now we can go because we've been trying to finish up construction and whatnot in our new store. So that's been that's been taking a bit of our re time and resources. But I think we may go next year. I don't think we're gonna break there next year, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's just too much of a production to haul all of our gear out there and everything. But I think we'll, we'll I think we'll be there for a few we'll try to be there for a few days. At the very least me and Nick will go out for, for a few days. Yes, I believe it's two autographs a box in the hobby edition. Yeah, two per box in hobby, five per box in jumbo. All breaks qualify for the Pro Mojo. All breaks. So do you not think? There's no complication. Do I buy this break? What break do I buy for the promo? What qualifies? What doesn't qualify? Everything qualifies. So next year, the Nationals are in Atlantic City. So I think we might be there for a little bit. Josh Proust is promising uh, promising to buy us a cheesesteaks if we fly into Philly. Will you, will you give us a ride to Atlantic City? Yeah, Jason Jasby gambling, sports gambling. Single game wagering is now legal in Pennsylvania. Where do they have it, Josh? Like at a local... Like, where do they set up shop? Where do the books set, set up shop? Usually they're at horse racing tracks, I think. Oh, you can do it on the phone? But well, what about the joy of walking up to the uh, the ticket counter and have a ticket writer write you a write you a ticket and give you a little slip these kids don't do that anymore but. can we just go to a horse racing track and do it all right so I'll go to these these places called sugar house and Parx. Parks? Parx. Those places mean nothing to me, but okay, that's where I can go. What are what is that are they casinos? Are they horse racing tracks? What are, what are they? What are these things? What's a what's a sugar house? What's a parks? Don and Josh. First autograph, Orange Shimmer, Jake Bowers. Cleveland Indians. That goes to Martin, who got the Indians in a team random. 22 out of 25. Both are casinos. Oh, okay. And we'll do left-right randomizers on these. And Parks is also a racetrack. Okay, got it. I'm down. Um, I like to, to play ponies as well. So let's go to Parks. Let's bet on some ponies, and let's bet on some baseball games. Boom. 
and you could buy some cheese sticks. Boom. That sounds like a day, Josh. Don can come too. And there's Dakota Hudson. Yeah. That's what he's saying right here. Yeah. Great, Josh. We're sold. We'll fly into Philly then. Not Newark like last time. And we'll 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 bribe you to give you give us uh, be our Uber driver to uh, to Atlantic City. Vet base doesn't chip as always, but rookies inserts. Parallels, variations, those will all ship. All right, so there's our first two autographs. Dakota Hudson goes to Sam Strayer, who got the Cardinals in a team random. Um, who else is out? Rich Schmidt is out there. We'll get we'll drag Rich out. Rich will go play. Get Mothra out of the house. Mothra is in the area. Who else is in Pennsylvania, folks? Well, we can make it a little uh, mini Jaspi meetup. Jaspi Fest at Parks. Brought to you by Poland Springs Water. The official water of jaspiescasebreaks.com. When my throat is parched after a long break, I like to take a long sip of water from this Poland Springs brand new sports bottle. Poland Springs. All right, there. Sam, Sam you want to go out to parks in Philadelphia? And bet on some ponies and bet on some sports and eat cheesesteaks? Josh is buying, he said. Yes, Steel Curtain is in Pittsburgh. I'm sure we can get him to drive out to Philly, right? We can get him, drag him out there, out to Philadelphia. You guys can carpool. You're 100 miles east of Pittsburgh. Yes, Steel Curtain's right in Pittsburgh. So he can pick you up on the way, Don. Yeah, six hours, that's not bad. That's like from here to uh, San Francisco. Paul Hutchins is in New York, I think, right? Drag Paul down. Have him pop down. All right, box two. I think some of these can be auto too, which would be pretty safe, especially that guy. Got a redemption. Any guesses on the redemption? There's Patrick Wisdom. He's got a nice auto. Cardinals. So we got Dakota Hudson going, yeah. And Patrick Wisdom going, yeah. Cardinals, that'll go to Sam Strayer. Got the Cardinals in a team random. So there are both of your autos right there. Nick Senzel is EA's guess. Dennis Santana is Josh's guess. We have seen Dennis Santana before. I have not seen Nick Senzel as a redemption. RT Vlogs, Youth Joe, do you think uh, Khabib will defend the belt? Absolutely. I mean, is there any doubt? I mean, pound for pound, Khabib 
15 out of 50 on that Glaber Torres gold shimmer. Pound for pound, that guy is one of the best fighters in the world. He'll definitely defend that belt. The Welter Light feather, feather belt, medium belt. Absolutely. I mean, his, his balance of attack and defense is just unstoppable. And that finishing move that he has, woo. Did that sound convincing? I know I have no idea who that person is. Um, congrats, you are due to receive a rookie auto refractor parallel of T T. I remember a T. It's not Chris Paddock. Oh, T Tony Singrani. Oh, Tuki Toussaint. We've seen him before. Toussaint is a brave. That'll go to Jeremy Tillman, who got the brave straight up. A T L. The pen wanted to give two pieces sound of the, the bell. All right, so there you go. Yeah, two pieces sound. It seems like he doesn't sign on time too often. What's going on? What's going on in baseball here? Let's give you some score updates on a Thursday, August 1st, 2019. A's beat the Brew Crew 5-3 in Oakland. Mets shut out the White Sox 4-0. Philly beat up on the Giants 10-2 in Philadelphia. And Miami edged out the Twins 5-4 in 12 innings. They scored, they were down 4 nothing. scored 4 in the bottom of the ninth, and then eventually got the go at the, the winning run in the bottom of the 12th. I was happy. I was on Miami. At the end of the fourth inning, Toronto up 3 nothing on the Blue Jays, or Toronto up 3 nothing on the uh, Orioles at a different bird. Bottom of the fourth, Rays up 4-2 on the Red Sox. Top of the fifth, Houston up 2-1 on Cleveland. Bottom of the fourth, Cardinals up 2-0 on the Cubs. The battle for the NL Central. Bottom of the third, Atlanta up 3-1 on the Cincinnati Reds. So those are still a lot of time left in those games. Dodgers-Padres tonight. Kershaw against the Padres in L.A. Preseason football has started too, ladies and gentlemen. I know this is a baseball break, but it's a long enough break where we can kind of venture off into other subjects. We've got the uh, Broncos and Falcons playing the Hall of Fame game on Thursday night. All right, next box. Brad Keller autograph for the Royals. Nick Beeman with Kansas City. Fifty out of ninety-nine. Justin Smoke, Green Shimmer for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Mike Hosby. Love this in that mid '80s design there. '84, '85. What what year is that? Another Blue Jay, Ryan Baruki, Bluebirds. Michael H with that. So a couple blue teams. Here 
Thanks to Tease Jr. Preseason, yeah, that's what it is. Preseason football, four weeks of worry that one of your stars are going to get hurt. So obviously these variations will ship. All right, so there are your two autos there. Next box, making some nice progress here, some nice time. Um, they gotta, they gotta reduce that, right? There have to be some sort of collective bargaining agreement where, where they're like, we gotta get rid of two weeks of preseason football, and we'll add like a week of regular season football or a week or two of regular season football or something like that. We gotta do that. Preseason's just, it's, it's a shame. I, if you get hurt in a regular season game, what are you gonna do? You know, like that, that's, that, that's sports, that's football, right? But, but you know. Gotta get rid of a couple preseason games. This is very confusing. They have the they have the Sunday night football logo. Uh, I guess it's it's just the Sunday night football team doing this game Thursday night. But they have the Sunday Night Football logo next to the score, which is very confusing. Game's on NBC. Do all teams charge full ticket price? Even now, I don't know, to be honest with you. My guess is no. But it's still revenue, you know what I mean? The concessions guys, I'm sure, like it too. And, you know, the stadium likes it. Super Bowl predictions? Gosh, it's a little early for Super Bowl predictions, isn't it? I mean, just just take whoever Vegas has as the favorite. Patriots. And whatever NFC team that is going to lose to the Patriots. Good luck, everybody. This is hobby number one, Adam. Pick your team one for 2019 Tops Pro Baseball hobby. Are you in this one? No, I don't think I see your name in this one. There's Otani, 43 out of 50. And there's Steven Duggar for the Giants. That's going to go to Todd Reardon, who got the Giants in a team random. Thought he was going to get traded. Didn't happen. And there's Josh Rogers. That goes to Joseph Andreessen and the O's. That's 121 out of 150. David Fletcher, orange. 3 out of 25. Angels, Mark Matson. I think those oranges are exclusive to the hobby edition. I think Jumbo has sh orange shimmers, but it's the regular orange, I think, are exclusive to Hobby.
All right, so those are your next two autos, Orioles and Giants, two orange teams. Next box. TJ saying, how about people comparing the stuff of Dustin May to Syndergaard? It, we were looking at some uh, some tape, TJ, including some uh, some tape from his drillers days. Does kind of look like Syndergaard-y stuff, right? Great looking fastball, nice slider. Would like to see a little, little more movement on that fastball, but maybe that's something that'll that'll develop over time. Seems a little straight, a little flat. I mean, I think that's that's uh, Syndergaard has had a little bit, a bit of a struggle this season, and I think that's part of it. Fastball is fast, but a little flat, and so if you don't locate it perfectly, then then it. Uh, if you don't locate it perfectly, then people can jump on that. But but hey, kid's still young. I'm not worried about that right now. I'm sure Dodgers pitching staff, rotation and coaching staff will help with all that sort of stuff. But I'm excited. First start tomorrow against the Padres. Looking forward to it. Maybe this is... You know, the Dodgers look like they called him up because they're like, hey, I know we didn't do anything in the trading deadline. Here's why. Here's Dustin May. This is why we're not trading him. So I think, I don't think the front office would ever say that publicly, but I think privately that's kind of, that they're kind of hoping that Dustin May has a really strong start. You know, so they'll be like, boom, see? This is why. You know? Which is what I'm hoping for. But heard someone say on the, the old sports talk radio today, a baseball writer was saying, listen, the best AL teams are still better than the best NL teams. So I think the Dodgers still have a lot of work to do to, to go to get back and win it all. I like Hyunjin Ru a lot. Hit me with it. It's Roddy Tellez, 25. And there's Steven Gonsalves for the Twins. Brett Myers got the Twins in a team random. 34 out of 50. Yeah, Hyunjin Ru is finally healthy. I think that's that's the huge thing about him. Everyone knows he has stuff. That he's a he's a great competitor, excellent pitcher, just he has stuff. He just needs to stay healthy, and he finally is. 84 and 90. I hope that just knock on wood. hope that continues the rest of the season and through the playoffs. There's Williams Astudio. Not the most flattering picture of him. Come on, Tops. It's a, it's a Twins box. Personal box for Brett Myers and the Twins. I think probably this month and definitely in September, I think you'll start to see Hyunjin Ru get a, maybe a start skipped here and there just to just to get him healthy and rested up for for the playoffs. I think Rich Hill coming back, so I think maybe Rich Hill will will take some of. Uh, Rue starts just to get Rich Hill, so the rust knocked off of him off the IL, and then get both of those guys ready, primed and ready for the playoffs. All right, so there's your two autos there, both twins, both for Brett. After this box, we are halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. TJ, 
Josh Proust is wondering if you've seen Mackenzie Gore pitch yet, the Padres prospect. I'm not sure if he's. What's the what's the what's the Padres Double A team? Are they in the? Would they would they play Tulsa? Hit me saying Dodgers Yankees World Series Commissioner of Baseball, and the uh, and Fox would definitely love that. Big Rig, what's going on, Brett? Uh, you got randomized the twins in the team random. In ho This is Hobby 1. And you got a couple twins autos already. Williams Astudio and Steven Gonsalves. Maybe there was another twin earlier. Maybe some parallels or something like that. But that's what I remember in recent memory. Yeah, Fox. The net Fox who has the World Series would love a Dodgers-Yankees World Series. That's what they were hoping for. You're welcome, Brett. This is Hobby 1. I don't think anything else is sold out after. In fact, I only see one order coming in. That's it. So unless Clay Franklin bought out a break, nothing else is filled up, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get to something else on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We can do more Topps Chrome Baseball. We can do Hobby 2, or we can do Jumbo 3. And there's Framber Valdez and Astros. John Gonzalez with the Astros adding Zach Granke, huge. Although if the Dodgers and Astros meet up in the World Series, Dodgers have hit uh, have hit Granke pretty well since he's left. Another Astro autograph coming up, John. Yep, Josh James this time. Rookie autograph. Now Josh Proust votes for Leaf in the game on jazbeescasebreaks.com or some Contenders Optic Basketball. I do like that Contenders Optic Basketball. There's Kevin Newman, 24 out of 99 for the Pirates. Todd with the Pirates. Oh, there's Kevin Green. We pulled an auto of his yesterday. I recognized his face. I didn't recognize, I, I didn't, I blanked on his name. All right. We are officially halfway through this break, folks. I think we're right on target. Got about another 30 minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, who do I have financial interest in in these game in these baseball games today? I have financial interest in the Rays. And they are up 4-2 on Boston in the bottom of the fifth. Good. Come on, Tampa Bay, hang on. I think Brendan McKay made a start today. He is 
He's your next two-way player, I believe. I don't know if he's actually hitting tonight, too. I don't think he is, but he's got it's supposed to be the next big thing for the Rays. He's uh, six strikeouts through four and a third. Five hit, two earned runs. Just one walk. Not that bad. I also have financial interest in the Cleveland Indians. Just down one in the top of the six. They're at home, so they still have a few bottoms of the frames to go. When kind of put a bigger play on the Cubs, who are still down two nothing at the end of the fifth in St. Louis, but they've got they've got time. They've got time. Got a play on the Reds, who are only down by two on the Braves. It's just the end of the fourth inning, so a lot of time left in that game. I've got a the rare run line play on the Dodgers, minus one and a half runs. At did I get them at plus money? I think. Yeah, minus one and a half runs at plus one hundred five. Again, they're hosting the Padres, so let's see how that goes there. A lot. Remember that fight, the Pirates Reds fight, which was pretty pretty wild. All suspen suspensions, all sorts of suspensions have come down. Keone Kella, Amir Garrett. Keone Kella, ten games. Amir Garrett, eight games. Jose Osuna, five games. Jared Hughes, three games. Kyle Crick, three games. Yasiel Puig, three games. Managers were suspended. So, pretty wild. Everyone see the video of that fight? Amir Garrett was pretty much, I think that was the pitching, the Reds pitching coach, pretty much kind of gave him a little pat on the leg and was like, go get him. It sounded like Amir Garrett had his glove over his face. He's like, I want to go get those guys. Pitching goes, all right, go for it. All right. Next box. We'll save one of those Tatis Juniors. There's Enyo De Los Santos. For Scott Claremont and the Phillies, he got the Phillies in a team random. There is Pete Alonzo, one seventy out of two ninety nine, purple parallel for the Mets. Mary Lou in the Mets. Is we were talking about this a little bit earlier. Josh Pruce had mentioned this. Is Pete Alonso your rookie of the year, or is it gonna be Tatis Jr.? There's Dal Lugo, 166 out of 250. Tigers. I think he got traded recently, Dal Lugo. Mark B with the Tigers. Tatis Jr. has a slightly better war, but I think EA was pointing out earlier that, hey, Pete Alonso is in position to, to, to beat the rookie home run record. Baseball writers may, may like that storyline for rookie of the year. I feel like if, uh, if Tatis Jr. Didn't, didn't miss like a couple weeks on the I.L., I feel like it would be Tatis Jr. Let's see how much baseball writers, uh, how much they like defense. Punisher Prime, Vince says, Pete Alonzo all the way. Josh is Tatis Jr.
Has he made his? What kind of? He hasn't made history yet, has he? Or what kind of history are you talking about? I guess he'll be on track to if he keeps it going. Doesn't seem like he's slowing down. If he keeps it going, he'll probably he'll probably uh, destroy that home run record. Jared Newton says, "Why doesn't McNeil get any love? Because he plays on a team with Pete Alonso." <laughs> I think he's great. He's, he's a great hitter, Jeff McNeil. He might. He's probably gonna win the batting title. Do I still have this up? I think, oh, I do have, still have the screen up. So in the NL, in terms of wins above replacement, Fernando Tatis Jr. leads uh, NL rookies at, with 3.8. Pete Alonso is right behind him at 3.6, according to fan graphs. Then there's a big drop-off to Brian Reynolds, 2.3, and then Verdugo, 2.2, Carson Kelly, 2.2, and then Keston Hira, who's at 1.8, but he hasn't played nearly as many games, but... But uh, yeah, I think your rookie of the year race comes down to Fernando Tatis, Tatis Jr. and Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso has the home runs. He's got the big city lights in New York. But Tatis Jr. has a much better average, much better defender, much better runner, much better fielder. I mean, so I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see what the baseball writers think. Both are great. Both are good for the hobby. All right. Hutchins says Alonzo because I pulled him in auto last night. You're welcome again. Yeah, hey, you got to root for what's best for the hobby, right? Do you think do you think it has something to do with him being older than most rookies at 27? Who, Jeff McNeil, Jared? You're thinking Jeff McNeil doesn't get credit because he's older? 4 out of 99, green shimmer for the Yankees, Glaber Day. There's Heath Fillmeyer. Um, is there some ageism involved there? I don't know. I mean, Ichiro still won Rookie of the Year, right? Even though everyone knew that he was a pro professional in Japan before for many years. I mean, McNeil is not even on this wins above replacement list right here. Also, I don't think Jeff McNeil is a rookie, right? Now that I think about it. I think he played like he was played 63 games last year. I think he may have foregone his rookie eligibility. Also, he finished sixth in rookie of the year voting last year, by the way. So technically not a rookie, I guess. That just came. That just popped into my head. Yeah. There is some confusion sometimes with those with those uh, kind of borderline players, right? So he doesn't get a rookie card for his his rookie year. They didn't produce any yet, and, and then so this is technically his first rookie card. So sometimes there's a little bit of of crossover. For one more auto out of this box. There it is. It's Bryce Wilson. Jeremy Tillman with the Braves. Got the Bravos straight up. There's Rysel Iglesias. To 150. I thought Reds would move him too. Scooter Jeanette was on the move. Really 
All right, four boxes to go. We are almost there, ladies and gentlemen. I only see two orders in Lay's boys and girls, so what are, what are we gonna do here? Unless uh, Clay and Anthony have sold out a break, we've got nothing after this. Oh, Drew Lock in for the Broncos. First throw is a wobbly pass, deep, incomplete. Or was that his, that was, that was second and seven. Who wins Rookie of the Year in the AL? AL Rookie of the Year, who do you have? Now, if you go by war, wins above replacement, Brandon Lau is leading the AL rookies with 2.5. Daniel Vogelbach, 2.8. No, is that right? Yeah, I got rookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel Vogelbach, 2.2. Jordan Alvarez, 1.8. So, Vlad Guerrero Jr., 0.4. That's kind of wide open. Does Guerrero Jr. get it just based off of name recognition? Yeah, Josh and EA saying maybe Jordan. Jordan Alvarez has been playing pretty well. He only has 37 games, though. Only 37 games, which is which is not not a lot. Is that enough to to win rookie? I mean, he's accomplished a lot in those 37 games. He already has a 1.8 WAR, hitting 326, 12 home runs already. Mothro says too close to call. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. and we got Ray Black. Rookie autograph, blue shimmer for the Giants. That is for Todd. 125 out of 150, who Ray Black just got traded to recently. Maybe Jordan Alvarez, EA speculating that since he's on a good team, maybe gets a little more attention. Yeah, that's true. Baseball writers are human. There's Steven Gonsalves for the Twins. That's another one for Brett. You know what? I'm also just looking at hitters, by the way. What about pitchers? No? Spencer Turnbull, John Means. Doesn't really move the needle, right? For Rookie of the Year. What about NL rookie pitchers? All right. Mike Soroka. What about Mike Soroka? Oh, I thought that was him for a second. Mike Soroka has a 2.9 war. Could a pitcher win rookie of the an NL Rookie of the Year? Maybe not. Not with Tatis and Alonzo kind of out there. That might, might fall just short. Jose Barrios for the Twins to 299. But Soroka has a 2.9 war. He's got a 10-2 record, 19 starts, 
two three seven ERA. It's been pretty great. Robert Roar, any big autos yet in this product? In this product, yes. In this break, not yet. Some solid autos, but nothing like this guy or some of the other rookies that we've been discussing. Tony Gonzalez looks like he could still play. All right, three boxes to go. This one and those next two in the background there. Good luck, everybody. we do after this ladies and gentlemen again i still only see two orders on jazbeescasebreaks.com i heard more leaf i heard majestic i heard contenders optic basketball now those were some of the some of the things name checked in the chat Football on the TV right here, seven nothing. Denver leading Atlanta. In case you're wondering, I have Atlanta plus two and a half points. I think it'll happen. We got Pablo Lopez for the Marlins. Sherry with Miami. 50 out of 499. And we got something for the Pirates. That's for Todd. Rookie auto Kevin Kramer. And a couple nice, uh, couple nice Kevin prospects in Pittsburgh. Kevin Newman, Kevin Kramer. Corey Kluber, Blue Way, forty-one out of seventy-five for the Tribe. And Trevor Story at the end. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. and Pirates autograph. Next box. Four autographs left, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Still haven't seen a uh, 
No train whistles yet. No out of fives, no super fractors. None. Maybe in the next two boxes. Sounds good, Ryan. Thank you. All right, two boxes to go. We're almost there, folks. Got about another 10 minutes or so in this break. Thanks for hanging with me. Good luck. Train whistle in these last two boxes, perhaps? Maybe. There's the other Kevin, Kevin Newman. No, Kevin Kramer, Kevin Newman. Todd with the Pirates. Got the Pirates in a team random. Blake Snell out of 2.99. Down with a big injury. Cedric Mullins, Orioles. That'll be for Joseph Andreessen, who got randomized the O's. In the team random. Kershaw, he's on the mound tonight. And we've got the relic. Nelson Cruz, there's one per case. So we got the Newman, the Mullins, and then the Relic. And that is, Nel uh, that's Nelson Cruz, Rangers, Nelson Cruz. And that'll be for Daniel Hayes, who has Texas. All right, and the last box. Good luck, everybody. So jumping back to football really quick, over under on um, 
over under on when Drew Locke makes his first start. Uh, this was, this is pick your team one, 12 box pick your team one, hobby edition. I say over under four and a half weeks, over or under. Drew Locke makes his first start. Over week four, week four or week five. Over. All right. Drew Lock first start. Over under six and a half. Week six and a half. Over or under. Under six and a half? Over six and a half. All right. Over under week 10. Oh, what are you talking about, EA? Oh, Cubs, Cardinals are up six nothing now? Come on. What the hell is going on here? Why did I want? Should not have made my play on the Cubs on the road. Who melted down this time? Derek Holland? Didn't they just add Derek Holland? Oh. Oh, but it's Lester's fault. Those are Lester's runners. All right. Anyway. Yeah, I feel like Joe Flacco will get injured at some point and then Drew Locke will start, will make a start. All right, we got DJ Stewart for the O's, Joseph Andreessen. Orioles. Got the O's in a team random. There's Blue Pete Alonzo to 150. Should have one more autograph. Maybe a nice low numbered parallel, super low numbered parallel. And Trevor Richards, rookie auto for Sherry and the Marlins to close things out. Out of $4.99, thanks everybody. That was Hobby, 12 box Hobby, pick your team one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got more Hobby in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Jumbos in the store too, jazbeescasebreaks.com. As far as I know, those jumbos are not in team randoms yet. So go ahead and check that out. Let's randomize that. We'll do a quick auto recap, and then we'll move on to the next break. Thanks, everybody. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. So we'll do a left-right randomizer on that. Left, right. There's left, right. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list two and a three five times. One, two, three. Four, and fifth and final time. After five times, left side will get those. So I know the same team, but left side teams will get those. All right, quick autograph recap. And we'll obviously have these all top loaded before they're sorted and before they are shipped out. Thanks to everybody for getting in to their team straight up or... Straight up, or uh, whatchamacallit, or through a team random. Thank you. And there you go. Thanks, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.